you are now tuned in to the network the YouTube channel that takes complex networking topics and dumbs it down to a more simpler language. And today's topic is connections, specifically Ethernet, shared media, and point to point. This is a topic in Cisco's CCNA exam. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exam blueprint to see where we came from and where we're headed. So, this is the exam blueprint, the one we cover every video CCNA exam version 1.0. Exam code is 200 301. We just covered the section single mode fiber, multi mode fiber, and copper. I did not do a video, a hands-on video for this. Maybe I'll do another video for that. I don't know. I didn't feel like doing it. I just felt like moving on to another topic, which is connections, specifically Ethernet shared media and point-to-point. -point. After that, we're going to cover the concepts of PoE or power over Ethernet. So what are these connections? Ethernet, shared media, and point-to-point. -point. Well, we know Ethernet is a standard that we use in local area networks, right? Except there's different types of uh, technologies or the way Ethernet works, right? Let's go ahead and, and talk about the history of, of Ethernet, first of all, right? Ethernet was basically a technology that was designed by this guy named uh, Robert Metcalf. I mean, he was basically like a computer engineer, and really smart dude, he's from Brooklyn, by the way. Shout out to BK. Well, anyways, he invented Ethernet in 1973 while he was working at Xerox, right? And then they basically, they patented it in 1975. And then later on, I want to say like in the early 80s, they became an open standard. Now Ethernet's grown to what we have seen today in local area networks, right? So it's pretty much the standard for local area networks, Ethernet. So what's Ethernet? Ethernet is a shared media where every device has the right to send at any time, right? Have the right to send or transmit data at any time. And if more than two devices send data, then a collision could occur. So if we look at this topology right here we got this these cables right here notice they're all can interconnected with each other right just like the internet but this is a local area network and this these remember we call cables media right however what do we see we've got all these guys that are connected to one media therefore we are sharing this media that's why they call it shared media well what's the big deal with sharing media right well you know i always tell my daughter it's very good to share but in this case you know let's say computer a right here transmit data to let's say he's abc oh, let's say he's computer e right he wants to send information to computer e right now the only thing is only one computer can talk at the time right this is called one-way communication or half duplex right so not everybody can talk at the same time or else what happens right let's say this guy's computer b even though computer A sent information to computer E, right? If he st send, starts sending information, then we can have what's called a collision. And then we're going to have lost frames or lost transmission because the collision, um, a collision occurred between the two frames when they collide each other like that, right? This is a problem. We can have a lot of lost data. We just won't have very effective communication on our network. Now, as Ethernet became more and more advanced, they, in they introduced the this technology called csma slash cd also known as carrier sense multiple access collision detection say that five times in a row <laughs> basically it's something that allows us to stop collisions from happening on the network now how does that work right well let's go back to computer a and e right next time computer a let's say computer a wants to send this same traffic to computer e right well csma cd allows computer b to sort of listen in to see if there's any traffic that's coming in and out of the network, right? If he hears there's no traffic that's going, then he will transmit data. Now, if he does hear traffic, he's going to wait for a couple seconds. He doesn't hear any traffic, then he will transmit data. That way we won't have the same collision that we did last time. So that's what CSMA CD allows us to do. It allows us to listen in to see if there's any traffic going on or if we hear any kind of collisions that are going on before we send data. And that's what CSMA CD does, allows us to do. It allows us to basically detect any collisions and allows us to wait before we transmit any data. That's how Ethernet shared media works with CSMA CD. I like to describe shared media is basically like a bunch of people that are talking, right? Only one person could talk at the same time. I mean, only one person could talk at a time. That's how Ethernet sh on shared media works because we are sharing the media that we are, we are talking on, right? So let's look at this group of people right here. Let's say Buddy right here, if he's not a masculine dude, he know he gonna have to wait till this guy finish talking, right? Because, or else what? We, we can't talk at the same time, right? So a collision could occur if we both start talking at the same time. And then the rest of these people 
ain't gonna know what the hell we saying because these two dudes right here, they both trying to be an alpha male. They just keep talking and the rest of these guys right here are not gonna be able to hear what these two are saying. And that's the problem with shared media because only one of us can talk at the same time, right? So this is as opposed to full duplex communication, right? So with full duplex communication, which we'll explain a little bit more in the uh, in the next couple slides, right? That allows that's that's like two way communication. So just think of um, also another way, uh, uh, another analogy I like to use is a two way radio, right? With a two way uh, with a with a two way radio, only one of us can talk at a time, right? Like ten four, you listen to the other person talk, and then you push the button. You can only only one of us can talk at a time. Whereas like a cell phone or a telephone, we both can talk to each other at the same time and start yelling at each other or whatever, right? That's known as full duplex communication. We need to talk about hubs before we start talking about uh, point to point links, right? So that was Ethernet shared media. We sharing the media, but yet only one of us can talk at a time. But as the technology got more advanced, they had, they uh, introduced CSMA uh, CD. But again, collisions can occur in these type of networks. Now, okay, so what's a hub, right? An Ethernet hub is defined as an active hub, network hub, repeater hub, multi port repeater. Or simply hub it's a network hardware device for connecting multiple ethernet devices connect together and making them act as one signal sex one single network segment now i like to say hubs are dumb you are really dumb for real why is it why i say that well we see here when an electrical signal comes in one hub port so let's say right here we got computer a again he likes to transmit data he is going to send data into one port right the hub repeats that electrical signal out of all other ports except the incoming port. So it came into this port. Now I explained this in the layer two, layer three switch, uh, switching video, right? Similar to this topic right here. He's going to what's called flub the frame. So the frame's gonna come out that port, that port, that port, that port, and that port. So if computer A is trying to talk to this printer right here, either way, when this frame comes in, he's gonna copy it out of all the ports because he don't know which port that printer lies on even though the printer's connected to him. He don't know, that's why I say it's a dumb device because it's like, it's just basically a terminal. It just takes the information and sends it off out of every port. It don't know where that printer lies at. It just knows that it took that information and, and flooded out of every port, right? Now, if computer A wants to send information to that printer again, guess what? The frame is gonna come in and he's gonna still send it out out of every port. This is an example of a hub right here on the right hand side, right? Again, these are not very intelligent devices. All they do is just takes the information, copies out of every frame. No bueno. The reason why is because collisions can still occur in these uh, in, in these type of network environments. And we could also have spanning tree issues. Hubs are just no, they're not good. If you have one in your network, make sure you can, you know, get, get rid of that device because uh, hubs can basically cause problems on your network. So why did we talk about this, right? Now this is in contrast to a switch is basically an intelligent device. So it's kind of like a hub, right? But it's more intelligent because I explained this again in the layer two, layer three switching video, right? Let's say PC, well now he's PC one, but let's say he's PC A and he wants to talk to this printer again, right? Instead of taking that frame, well, initially what's gonna happen is the frame is gonna come in, right? I'm gonna draw our envelope right here. That frame is going to come in, right? Initially, it's going to get flooded out of every port because we don't know which port the printer lies on, right? That's what's going to initially happen. Now, once that frame comes in, right? And it's going to say, oh, this frame is destined for a printer. The printer that lies on this port right here, right? Well, the printer's going to respond and let him know, hey, I'm right here. That frame is for me. Then the switch is going to take it and he's going to be like, oh, okay, perfect. I know that this frame lies on this port right here. I'm going to remember that. So next time, PC, the PC one or PC eight is going to send a frame to this, uh, through this port right here. He's going to remember to that printer. He's going to remember, okay, I remember that printer lied on this port right here on this port right here. I'm just going to send it directly to this one. It's not going to flood it this time. That's why I say a switch is an intelligent device because it remembers where all of these devices lie on. So let's say the same thing with server zero. If the printer A wants to send information to server zero, initially he's not gonna know where server server zero is, right? Because if, if it was just turned on or if, the, or if the MAC address table was empty, he's gonna send it out of every port, right? But next time printer A wants to stop, talk to server, he's gonna be like, oh, I remember this server lies on that port. Then he will send directly to that server. That's why switches are an intelligent device as opposed to 
a hub which is always floods out of every frame no bueno now why are we talking about the differences between switches and hubs right well let's talk about what a switch is we've talked about switches for the past couple of videos anyways but a switch is defined as something that connects devices on a computer network by using packet switching to receive and forward data to the destination device kind of like what a hub does right but a hub just takes it and sends it out to everybody it's basically a repeater it just takes all the information and send it to every device uh, all that's connected to it right now the difference is an ethernet point to point emphasizes the fact that in the network built with switches each point to point link works independently of the others so this right here would be considered a point to point link also a collision domain why do i say it's a collision domain right because collisions can still occur on an ethernet network however it's less likely to happen because a a, a network switch is you know it remembers where all of these devices are so it's not going to be flooding to every frame so there's less flooding less broadcasting that occurs right so you're less likely to have collisions right so this is a smaller collision domain this is a smaller collision domain this is a collision domain this is a collision domain whereas with a hub this entire thing is a collision domain a collision can occur on this entire network right here so this that's why i say it's less likely to happen for a collision to occur on these type of networks because these are considered a point to point link right here this point to that point that's why we say it's a point to point link it's just one little link right here but we also call this a collision domain because a collision can still occur here but there's only one device here and then there's just the switch there so it's less likely for the collision to occur in this at that point to point link right there an ethernet point to point emphasizes the fact that in a network built with switches each point to point link works independently of the others a full duplex allows a frame to be sent on every point to point link in an ethernet at the same time so again this is full duplex network because everybody can talk at the same time but it's less likely for a collision to occur because we have separate collision domains right and then there's less broadcasting that occurs so we could have a broadcast that occur over here right but there's only one device that's connected to that link right there same thing with this right here we this would be considered like kind of like a broadcast domain but it's only it's really a collision domain but there's only one device here so it's it's less likely for a, bro a, a collision to occur there. That's why I say switches are very smart and that's why I love switching. That is all I got for y'all today. That is at my YouTube page. That is my Twitter handle. That is my IG. Follow me on either of those social media platforms if you want to connect with me on a more personal level in the next video. We may do a lab or some kind of hands-on, but it'll just be, you know, just me describing the difference between or how traffic behaves with a hub versus a switch and um in the basically shared media versus a point to point link uh you know leave a comment below if you want to do hands-on or not you know also share this video if you like my teaching style in other words comment like subscribe to the network